Starbucks stock may take a hit. Welcome to the Sowing Seed Podcast. One guy's thoughts on family, faith, farming, and financial freedom. Now, from the studio on top of a hill in a very, very remote location, here's your host, Matt Miller. My episode a week ago, titled Starbucks Moved My Cheese, forced me to take a look to assess my situation, to assess my Frappuccino, most marked, most namely my Java chip Frappuccino drinking habit. And after taking some time to think about it on both the health and weight side of things, but then also on the financial side of things, I've made a pretty major decision for me anyway, because I oftentimes like things to be simple. I'm oftentimes a creature of habit, but instead of picking another drink on the menu and just adjusting, I've decided to bring much of my Frappuccino consumption and creation home. I'm not a coffee drinker, so to be honest, I don't even know how to use or did not even know how to use the coffee pot. And my wife and youngest, Rebecca, have been on the road for the last uh, week going out to Virginia to pick up my oldest daughter, Sarah, from school at Liberty University. So I've been home by myself with the dogs, with the cats, holding down the fort here and decided, okay, I'm going to go online. I'm going to Google, you know, Frappuccino or Mocha Frapp recipes and took a look at several of them and then set about figuring out how to use the coffee maker, how much coffee to put in the coffee maker, and then how to use the Vitamix and what proportions work best for making the perfect low cost, low, low, low sugar frappuccino compared to what I've been used to getting over the last number of years at Starbucks. So I arrived on a recipe for anybody who cares where I'm just simply using skim or uh, non-fat milk. I'm using six cubes of frozen coffee, essentially brew the coffee let it cool, and then pour it in ice cube trays and freeze it. And I've got an entire gallon bag now in one of our other freezers full of coffee cubes that I can use at any time. And then just a little bit of Hershey's chocolate syrup. Now, I'm going to probably look into a, a lower sugar alternative for the chocolate syrup and figure that out. But for the last four or five days, I've been making my own at home. And they're better for me. They're cheaper in a big way. And they allow me to not be changed by the menu change at Starbucks, but to do what makes sense here. So anyway, if you're a Starbucks stockholder or uh, if you track the market at all, if there's a drop in the Starbucks price, stock price here in, in the coming weeks, I may be the reason why. God bless you guys. Thanks for listening. Check out our website, sowingseed.net, the Sewing Seed channel on YouTube. And if you got something out of today's podcast, give us a five-star review on your podcast player of choice. Until next time, go plant the seed you need to succeed.